Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. There's just that one tiny little spike of a heap right there. And it's not going to let me move up. Oh, there we go, there we go, right. I need to try and get this plow up over that. And then if I lower the plow down where it is now, it will then get rid of some of this stuff. And then we can come around here and hopefully I can do the same again. So I will also get rid of this bit because there's another bit right there that I want to get rid of. That's now gone. And come back in this direction. Carefully does it. Right, now lower down. There, see? It does It does actually get rid of it. It just takes a little bit to do it. Doesn't quite like it all the time, but it does generally get rid of most of these problems. There, and I lower that down. And just a little bit of movement there, backwards and forwards. It's gotten rid of a lot more of it. I don't know how much more on here I can do like this. I might have to... If I come round this side, there, now I can get rid of most of the rest of that heap. There, like that. Lower you down like that, and... Almost! Almost, we've almost got it there. It, it doesn't like it doesn't like doing it while I'm going forward, but there. Okay, we, we we have now done it. Right, definitely, definitely don't do this whole thing with the piles of wood chips in the future because that is not working. The T9 has done exactly the same as what it did last time. It's gone out to the edge of the field and it's now slipping. So let's bring you back over this side like this and drive course from next closest waypoint that one's just going to keep going like that should hopefully be absolutely tickety-boo without any problems and then we can skip over here so you are coming out down there and that's your first pass all the way across the field you're fine you are heading up to this corner there's a little tiny bit that's missing over there but we'll deal with that and you of course you are you've come all the way out here stop driver we need to reverse you round. You're going to cause us problems, aren't you? Actually, I think it might just... This may be the last time that he does this. Because the rest of it seems to be all right. So this could very well be the last time that he does it. So we'll bring you back over to there. And we go to drive course again. Lower you in. And you are away. Right, that's good. If you can behave yourself... Everything will be fine. If you can't behave yourself, then we're going to have problems, aren't we? Excuse me. I'm, I'm, I've got the hiccups again. I always have. This. I always seem to have the hiccups. Um, right. John Deere is racing out over this side. He has left a little tiny bit there, but that is not actually ground that has to be ploughed because that is already part of a main field. So we don't need to worry too much about that bit. There is a bit just here next to the Challenger that I am going to just hijack the Challenger a minute. I'm going to run over and get because that is ground that hasn't been ploughed. So we do want to go and deal with that bit. So I will bring you over to here like this. And then I will go stop driver right there. We'll run over to this site. We will just grab that little bit right there. Like that. And then I'll come back over this side. Coming on round. Bring you to about there, like that, and then I will go drive course, just like that. So you'll lower the plow back down again, and straighten up, and in he goes to exactly where he was previously, and we're away. Excellent. Okay, so we've got no issues in there. Now, if we go and have a look at the actual growth bit, we can see that this one went all the way up to the end of the field up there, but now it's just working this short ground. We've got... The John Deere working that short piece there. We've got the um, New Holland working this short piece here. There's a few bits up there that need to be redone. And there's a few bits over there. Although those bits won't matter because this uh, this already ploughed land. The bits that will matter are those bits up in that corner. They will have to be gone over again. And... It seems to be it seems to be going remarkably well here. Like if if you just go on a little bit further there, that one's that one's doing absolutely brilliant. It does seem to be doing remarkably well. Now we want to come out onto here. How far out are you going to go before you decide that? Um, how far are you going to go? Are you going to cause us problems? 
No, you're not. You're actually going to do what you're supposed to do this time. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. That is fantastic. Right, so that one can keep going up through there and is not going to cause problems this time. And then we can go back to the Challenger. That one is doing a great job down through there. It's not going to cause any problems. The case is whizzing up through here. Is it going to take out one of those bushes on this pass? I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, it did take one. And so the, that's kind of like the biggest section now is the bit that the case is just on the side of. The New Holland has got a strip down through there, which is going to get to pretty soon. And then we've got this tractor right here. Not quite sure what this tractor is doing currently. Because that course then goes up to there. And it's now moving... But that course goes to that point there, but where does it go from there? Where's it telling the tractor that it needs to drive to next in order to continue on with its course? It's the bit that I'm confused about here. This course in general is a little bit confusing. He's got somewhere that he's telling this tractor to move. Oh. He's telling it to drive this way. Just for one little bit. Just to, It's obviously just to like tidy a piece up there. Then I think what it's doing is it's going to come up here to start doing some of this short work. It's going to get to that point right there and it's going to start doing that short work through there. That's what I think is going to happen next. So can come on round here. And it's going to start working these short runs here. But it did this previously with one of the other ones. And then it went somewhere else. So we'll let that, we'll let that one keep working there. And we'll, we'll see what that one does in a minute. Uh, you over here. You've just come up to the edge of our big field here. And are working out into new ground. Excellent. Plowing up the roads. Heading off down over the hill. It is a bit of a shame that we don't have that bit over there, but honestly, I don't think we, we... We don't really need that, do we? I mean, considering the size of this field, we don't need that extra bit over there. Besides which, the pond being in the way would have caused us problems. So there's that, that is a little headache that we don't actually need. There's only a couple passes left for this one, just to finish off the last little bit that it's still got to do. And pull that bit out to there. Okay, that's all done there. It's going to turn round and... Carry on doing what it's doing. Yes, that one's going to turn around and keep going. And you are heading up this way. So there is a bit up in that top corner up there that I would like to go and get. So we're just going to follow this tractor here a second. And then once we've gotten up to the corner, we will take command of the tractor momentarily. And we'll go right up into the corner up there and get those little bits that were missed by the plow when it came through. Uh, doing the outside rounds. And then after we've done that, we can bring this one down here. We can start it again on this bit. So let's go to you. And we want to go to stop driver right there. Like that. And then I can bring this one up here. I need to speed it up a little bit. We can bring you up this way. There isn't anything over on that corner. I already tidied that bit up. So there's only a little bit just here. So I'll lower that plow into the ground. Right there, and I will take out both of these, like this. There we go. And then we can run back down here, and as soon as I've set this one going again, we can then go and take a look at the John Deere, and we can see how that one's getting on with its little assignment down there, with those really short runs. I'm hoping the John Deere is not going to try and go traipsing off across the countryside to do something different before it finishes up the bit that I want it doing... The, that, those little bits of short work that it's working on at the moment. So we can lower that one into the ground there. Now, we're only early spring at the moment. There's only one degree soil temperature, which means that we are going to want to wait a bit before we can actually start doing all of our planting. You here, this could cause us a bit of an issue. Right, let's go. What, what are you doing? You are actually now doing what you're supposed to do, which is... 
plow up all of this. So we'll, we'll let that one keep going with the, the plowing just on there. He is doing a decent job. That's all right. And you running down here, you're doing a decent job as well. You're, you're absolutely fine. But it's you right here. We knew this was going to cause problems. We knew this was going to be an issue. Right, stop driver right there. We will see if we can drag it forward a bit. Apparently, I can climb up on top of the heap by reversing. But I can't climb down off the heap again. Okay. This is definitely not what I was hoping for. I have to try going backwards off of this heap. We have managed to get every other heap done. Right, we have managed to do all of the other heaps. They haven't exactly been easy, but we have managed to do them. This one was much more spread out, so I'm really hoping that we can do... We can do this. Yes, we can. Look at this. It will work. We'll bring you back over there, and now I can bring you back round again, and I can set that one going just to finish up that last little bit. Now, uh, drive course right there. Where does the course actually finish? Like, when it gets to this point, I don't have course... Oh, no, it does. That That is course finished right there. That's the end of the course right there. Okay. So that's why that's why he's slowing right down. He's, he's come to the end. We've actually completed the course. I mean, yes, we, we, we've skipped just the odd... The, you know, the, the odd step in the middle has been skipped, but i'm sure it will be absolutely fine right okay stop driver there you don't need to fold and unfold um it's still got the allow create fields going on the plow so we're going to take this one now we're going to run down to this end we're going to move over by a couple of steps and we're going to give it a few more lines to go and plow I'm not going to give it too much because the other two tractors will... Well, the John Deere in particular will be one that will be coming along and doing a few more runs. Uh, so this one's going to have like four lines to do. But what I will do before I start those four lines is I'm actually going to do this. I'm just going to run up beside these wood chips right here and just get rid of them completely. There. We'll just wipe those out completely there. And then I will come over to this bit. I go in there like that. Turn you around a little bit there. And we go drive course. There. Is that going to be in the right spot? That, that should be absolutely fine. So now he's got an extra few runs to go through and do. That'll keep him busy just, just for a minute. You here. Oh, we've got more wood chips to do here. Is he going to get over that bit? I think he is. Yes, he is. He, he was he was just moving ever so slightly. There is a little bit more wood chips just there. I suspect that that is something that is going to be missed on our next pass. So we'll have to keep a bit of an eye on that one. Just watch what happens on the next pass. We've actually only got these two passes here for the short runs. And then we've got some fairly long runs right up to the end of the field with this one. Challenger is fine. Quad track is fine. John Deere is now actually completed this bit right here. So we're going to go like this and we're going to say stop driver like that. I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to get those little bits of wood chips. The bits that we've missed up in that top corner don't matter because that's land that has already been plowed up. So now if we go and have a look at our overview, our main map on here. Any of these corners here don't matter. They're, they're bits that have already been done. We've got the New Holland is busy working its way there. And then it's going to do those strips there. And we've got the Case Quad Track. We've got this one over here who is going to go all the way up to the end and then back again. So we want to bring the John Deere kind of right over into the middle of that. So that we've got that last little bit to deal with. Before I go too far with that John Deere though... I want to go over here because I want to see this one doing the hill. I want to see this one climbing up over this hill. And there's some bits missing over there on that side of the hill. That's something that we've got to go and um, deal with. So there's our case quad track. Crawling on up the steep hill. 
doing a wonderful job of it. There is a chance that we're going to have some messy bits just here on this side that we're going to have to deal with. I guess those bits don't really matter. Once we've done this, we should technically go and do cultivating next. We'll need to cultivate the entire field. If we're going to do this right, we do need to cultivate the entire field. It's something that does need to be done. So I'm kind of thinking that we could leave these three tractors to keep going with this, not bring the John Deere over and get the cultivators up next. I don't know. Um, how much have we got left? Right, the, well, I'm going to have to hijack this one in a second and just do that bit over there. It's not ready to plant yet. We, we can't go planting the wheat just yet because we're only the soil temperature is only one degree. We've got to wait for the temperature to come up a little bit before we can actually do the planting. And we've got... I mean, I, I think most of it will be all right. I don't think there's going to be any major issues anywhere. Let's go to you here and stop driver like that. We'll bring you round over this way. I'll lower you down there so that you will take out that little bit. There we go. Excellent. Um... Yeah, we, technically we do need to go and cultivate the entire field. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to kind of use that as a chance to practice having setting a course for running three different machines at once. So I want three cultivators. Not going to use the cultivator that I've got back in the yard. I'm going to use a different cultivator than that. I'm going to use a um, big cultivator. So, but too, well, let's, let's go to the John Deere. We'll go over to the John Deere a second. Where are you? You're over here. Uh, I do want to have a look at this. How are we doing with the animals? You've got... We need to feed the animals. Let's start you up. We'll run this one over so that it can also be doing a little bit of plowing. And then we'll see about feeding some of these animals. And then we can always come back and we can set up... Um, well, we'll set up something else. I'm not quite sure what how we're going to set things up. Oh, that there, I think, isn't a part of the field. So let's just plough that in there. One tiny little spot was missed right there. That is a part of the field, that bit that's missed right there. So that one doesn't matter. That one will be fine. Yes, that, that's part of the field. That doesn't matter. Uh, those long runs there will be taken care of by the New Holland. And New Holland will already be on their way up to go and deal with that. There's the New Holland on the horizon. And there are four runs for it to do right there. So I don't think it's going to take too long to do those. We've got the case quad track is working up and down the field over here. Though it's left a little tiny bit at this end. Um, so what I'll do is I'm actually going to just plow a little bit of an extra line here. And I'm going to send my tractor here up this line is going to go up that one that's where i'm going to send this one you're going to go up there like that so we'll go uh right click there and drive course next closest waypoint right there and you will start doing that bit so we've now got the last few strips being plowed up by the four tractors working in the field right here and they're doing a great job. This this bit might be difficult. Yes, it's definitely going to be difficult. So we'll have to do that by hand. Stop, driver. Can you get over on top of this? It does look like you can. Oh, no, I don't want to fold it up. I want to lower it down. So that it... I'm going to lower it down. And then I want to kind of move it around a little bit. Not an easy thing. It really, really doesn't like getting like the when it, it gets caught on the edge there, doesn't it? It like it forms a sharp edge on the wood chips, and then you can't do anything with it. And I could just go and get rid of the sharp. I could just go and get rid of the wood chips by hopping into landscaping mode, but I'm stubborn and I don't actually want to do that. I'd like to go over it all with a plow and take it all out like that it, ju it just feels like we ought to be able to do this with a plow like in theory we should be able to do it with a plow that's why I'm determined to actually make this work 
Right, so I've managed to do that bit. There's a tiny little bit that's left. I'll whiz through that. Then we'll go, we'll run back to the yard very quickly and we will feed our animals back there because they all need feeding, so it's not going to take too long. Once we've fed the animals, we can actually start fast-forwarding time because it's not going to affect anything with the plowing if we fast-forward time. So drive course from here. You lower in there and start driving that course. So long as that little bit there doesn't cause me any problems. Doesn't look like it. No, it's not going to. A little bit rough, but it's actually done all right. There is a bit up on the top of the hill that might cause the Challenger a problem. But we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, you, you've got a little bit up there, and there is another... Yeah, we've got a couple of bits here that we'll need tidying up afterwards, just so that we've got the whole field done. I want to make sure we do have that whole field. And then you're doing great as well. You, you've gone all the way up through, and then you've gone all the way back again, and we've gone over the hump in the middle. Finally, we've managed to get over the top of that bit. Okay, they're, they're all doing wonderfully well. So let's go and feed our cattle a second. The cattle are getting a bit low on food. So our next job is going to be cultivating. Now, we've got a big cultivator there in the yard, which we can use if we want to, to go and do some cultivating in the field. But I would like to use a much bigger cultivator than that. I would like to use whatever the biggest cultivator is that we've got in the game. And I'm thinking that we want at least a couple of them. So let's have a look in here. And we've got Discara cultivators right there. And the... Borjol pack here only gave us a 12 meter cultivator, whereas the flexi coil there is 24 meters wide. So it's got to be the flexi coil. That's the one that we've got to use. We need 500 horsepower to be able to pull that bad boy, which we don't currently have. Uh, well, actually, yeah, we do. We do have 500 horsepower on most of our tractors, don't we? Um, but we've also got this one, the 9RX, which is not one that we've purchased yet. So I'd like to get that one. I'm wondering if we should get that one on one of the cultivators. I think that would be quite cool if we could have one of them on the cultivator hauling up and down through the fields. Could look quite impressive. Right. I'll run you out over here and back you in. And then I'll get the other tractor going so that we can put food in for the chickens and for the pigs. So I need to put a little bit of bedding in for the pigs. Let's start that one up there. Total mixed ration going in there. And I'll switch you off. Then we can go to you. Feed the chickens. Feed the pigs. And once we've done that, we want to put a bit of bedding in for the pigs. And then I can start fast forwarding time. Actually, I can start doing that anyway. We'll go up to 30 times speed already. Just start ticking through like that. And why aren't... Oh because I haven't got the right trailer selected. There. Tip that one out into there. Little bit of grain in for the chickens, and then we can move on round. I'll move that up to 60 times speed. Like that. You know what? Let's, let's, go, let's go flat out. We'll have time going flat out at 120 times speed. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. Um, I've got food in for the animals now, or for, uh, uh, basic food in for the animals, so we'll, we'll be able to keep them going just for a minute. If you have a look in here, cattle are absolutely fine. They will last until tomorrow, and the pigs will probably last till tomorrow with what they've got right now. So I don't technically need to worry about getting them anything extra. Then we will dump in a bit of canola into here. And we will dump in a bit of corn in here as well. Like that. Right. Pigs are now happily fed. Next, I want to get that feed mixer on. Get that one started up. So let's change over to there and I can switch over, pull on back. You shouldn't still be turning. You definitely shouldn't be spinning round while you're sat there by yourself. Don't quite know why you're looking like you're possessed, but well, there we go. We, we've got a possessed trailer right here, which is it's certainly going to liven things up a bit for us. We will add in a little bit more straw. The only thing I don't like about this particular silo here, the the, um, the silo mod, is that it does offload extremely slowly. I think it could do this unloading malarkey just a teensy bit faster. I mean, yes, 
he does kind of fit the track to the, the, the size of the spout that we've got on here. But I still think it could be a little bit better than this. All right, I'm going to slow that down a little bit because I need to go and have a look at the T9, which is slipping. Where are you? Uh, nope. Oh! There's hardly anything in the field here, and he's still slipping. Apparently, you don't get very good grip with three wheels on here. I honestly thought that we'd get better grip than this. I thought it would do a better job. It's got to be said, I'm a little bit disappointed with that. But it's, it's getting through, and it is actually able to pull the plow through as well. I mean, it's bouncing it around a little bit, but it's doing it. Excellent. Right, well, that's, 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 all, that's all done. All's well that ends well, I suppose. Now, this one's filled up as well, so we can run this one round to the pigs and quickly give them a little bit of bedding, and then we should be good for going and skipping the night. And then in the morning, we may be getting close. I don't think the second day of spring is going to be warm enough to start our planting. i got a feeling we're going to have to wait for one more day besides, but we can at least start getting some of the things done, such as uh, getting the cultivating set up and get that going. That would be quite nice if we could do that. Let's go and bring you. I'm just going to leave you hitched on like that. Our workforce is going to work through the night. They're going to keep going right through the night. They've all decided to do a little bit of overtime. So we will let them keep going. We've got 15 hours of sleep that we're going to have now. $1 wage payment every hour. For the most part. It's now sort of slowed down on the whole wage payment things. Um, it's still saying the ground is a bit damp. Right, we're 4 degrees now with the ground temperatures. Uh, you are... We're going to need to feed the animals a little bit later today. We've got... Cloud cover for the next couple days. It's not going to be brilliant sunshine until Wednesday. The temperature that is needed is 5 degrees. So, yes, we are going to need to wait one more day before, you know, really we could go and feed these animals. You've got the final pass for you going in here. The case... Why are they... Right, you've... You've come... What? Okay. Um, why do you have to... It's this one, isn't it? It's, it's this one tractor. It keeps coming out, getting stuck. Like All the others seem to do quite well. I don't think I've had any others get stuck. But this one tractor here, this is constantly getting stuck. I think it's the three wheels. That's what I think it is. I think the three wheels are a little bit much for it. Right, we'll drive course there. You've got that one final pass up across there to go and do and then that one is finished finito done and i'm actually missing a couple of tractors i can get to you but that case quad track over there i can't access and the challenger oh i can access it now Right, it wasn't letting me access it previously, so you're finished. I can stop driver on here. Stop driver right there. And that one, you're finished as well, so I can stop driver on you. Stop driver. Right there. Okay, we're going to have to do something with these. You over here, I'll start engine on there. Right, we're going to... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.